Hello and welcome! My name is Bonnie and today I'm going to be unboxing the May 2021 Loot Crate. The theme for this month is mixtape. Now I'm not going to waste any time. I'm just going to go ahead and cut my way right on in. The first thing we're going to do is open up the box and see if they have an image for this month. And they don't. This is just standard Loot Crate graphics. So I'm just going to go ahead and set this to my side and pull out the first item. I'm feeling some boxes, but I'm going to go for the shirt first. Um, so let me see. We have got a black shirt today, and of course, I'll give you the first peek. And let's see. We've got a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles shirt. T it says TMNT. We've got the four turtles and Shredder there in the middle. This is a very, like, edgy look at the turtles. Let's get a close up on them. They're very intimidating looking. <laughs> kind of scary. Almost almost zombie-like. Not quite, but um, a very edgy, dark depiction of them. I usually like the turtles being a little bit more happy-go-lucky. Um, that's, my, that's my style, but this is very dark, very edgy. Kind of cool. The shirt itself is a little stiff. Um, we've certainly had softer shirts from Loot Crate, um, so that's not great. But other than that, I think this is a really cool shirt. I think this will please a lot of people. There's a lot of big Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fans who get Loot Crates, and I think that this will be um, widely accepted and enjoyed. Let's go for one of these boxes now, and I have got a SpongeBob Square Pants juice glass set oh very cute we've got spongebob and patrick on the side it says aloha from bikini bottom down at the bottom i like this little graphic that's very cute all right let's pop this open and see what it looks like so we have two juice glasses to show you on the back this one says tiki time good vibes only and on the front we have got squidward patrick and spongebob with some tikis in the background lots of cool hawaii vibes this is really cute i like that image a lot and on the second one the back says aloha from bikini bottom and on the front we have got Patrick and Spongebob with kind of a hut house back there, some fun trees and flowers. Very Hawaii vibes, these are very cute. Um, I think I like the first one better though. I don't really care for this rendition of Patrick and Spongebob, they look a little strange, but this one is very cute, very cute. So we have got our little juice glass set. It's a good size for <laughs> um, maybe a stiff drink or I guess a little bit of juice because um, these are definitely going to be a hit with the kids if you've got kids. Um, they're a hit with me and I'm just a giant kid. So I like these. Definitely this one better, but they'll both be used. All right, I have got kind of a smaller item next. This says Rugrats 30 Reptar Pin. Rugrats 30, is it their 30th anniversary? Is it? That's crazy. Okay, let's pop this open. It's in a nice little uh, matte box. Let's see if I can get this open because I'm struggling. Ooh, gold. We have a gold Reptar Pin. It's a little bit difficult to see the detailing on it. And I drop it immediately. Typical Bonnie, typical. Okay, here we have our gold Reptar pin. Very, oh, I was saying it's hard to see because it's so reflective and shiny. Um, and it is definitely that, very reflective. Let's see how many posts this has. It has two gold posts on the back. Very nice. I honestly am a little bit underwhelmed with it. It's just doesn't have a ton of detail on it. It is gold, so that makes it pretty, but I think they could have done more with this. Um, so it's okay. It's all right, but is it freaking Rugrats 30th anniversary? Is that what that means? Oh my gosh. <laughs> How did that happen? Okay, well, we have our Rugrats pin. All right, I'm feeling the big box, but I'm not feeling anything else in here. We might have another month where there's only four items. So let's go ahead and get this out. 
I have got a Guardians of the Galaxy Star Lord collect and build. This must be some sort of figure. It's got some faces there on the back. Must be other figures that you can collect. So let's go ahead and pop this open though. And here we have our Star Lord. We've got him from the torso up in this little bust. Um, the base is kind of a thin plastic, but he himself, he's pretty good quality. He's got some heft to him and it looks really good. This is a very nice item. Um, he, his hair is very blonde, which it is not in the movies. So I'm wondering if they drew inspiration from the comics for his hair color, or maybe this entire design. Um, but I, honestly, he looks really good. His guns look great. I think the paint job is pretty good. And I really like this. This is probably one of the best figures we've gotten out of a loot crate, period. Like, honestly, usually they're very stylized and um, maybe a little strange, but this is actually something that I think a lot of people will really enjoy and will want and might even seek out on eBay or something after, uh, after they see these unboxings, if they didn't get the box themselves. So... I think this is a good item. I'm very pleased with this. I think Star-Lord looks great and I think it will be a hit. So that was everything that came in the box. There were only four items. Loot crates typically have five items. So I went ahead and I scanned my little QR code to see if it was in fact supposed to be four items or if I was missing an item. And the digital insert has not been posted for this box yet. So I have no way of knowing. Um, I guess I'll check that another time in the future just to double check and make sure there was no missing items but um the previous box that i got also only had four items so this might be a new trend with loot crate so um let's go ahead and go over my uh, favorite and least favorite from this month now my favorite is going to be this juice cup not just the set but specifically this juice cup the Star-Lord was great, but something about this is just really singing to me. I really like this. I love the image on it, and I like the good vibes only. I, I say that sometimes. <laughs> so I'm like, this is my cup right here. And then my least favorite is going to be the Reptar pin. I think that they could have gone another direction and it would have been better. When I saw the title, I was really hoping we'd have like a really cool hard enamel reptar pin and i don't know something about this is just it just doesn't have a lot of detail on it it's also kind of hard to see the detailing because the reflectiveness um very mirror, mirror like um so i guess that one is it's not even a bad thing though i'm like nitpicking it's not even a bad pin it's a very nice pretty shiny gold pin um but out of these items you know there were pretty good items this month that one is my least favorite and that is it. That is everything I have to show you today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me so that I know that you liked it. And if you would like to subscribe and you have not yet already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I hope to see you again soon. And until next time, goodbye and good luck.